Today's date is May 30th, 2021. In this presentation, I will talk about how one can greatly reduce the immediate, immediate impact of gas price spikes on their finances. I will discuss two types of hybrid vehicles, the electric hybrid and the gasoline hybrid. The vehicle I will be using for, de for this demonstration is an electric hybrid. It's my 2014 Cadillac ELR. It requires only electricity to be driven, regardless of my speed or acceleration rate. The gas engine will run to generate electricity when the EV range drops at a certain, to a certain point, or when I'm driving more than the EV range says I should be dri driving, try, try to drive, or I do not want to stop to charge, such as like when I'm maybe driving long distance. But the majority of my driving is performed using only electricity. I typically pump gas into my tank about every three months, and I have a nine and a half gallon tank. The other type of hybrid is a gasoline hybrid, which, which requires gasoline. And with a small electric motor, it gets help to push the car over the road. And that's defined, that's decided by how it does that is decided by the individual vehicle manufacturer. Okay, now electric hybrids don't have as much required maintenance as a gasoline hybrid because the engine does not run nearly as much, nor do they have a hydraulic transmission or require coolant for a radiator. And that's another way electric, electric hybrid saves money and time. The gas engine in my electric hybrid is small because it runs only to generate electricity. It's a generator. It runs at one speed, regardless, or independent of the vehicle speed. It's almost lawnmower small, actually. Uh, the electric hybrid, however, oops, sorry. The electric hybrid manual states to change, my car's manual changes, states that I should change my engine oil every two years or whenever the engine oil change indicator tells me to. Now, in the past six years I've that I've been driving my car, I've yet to see my oil change indicator tell me to change my oil because my engine runs so infrequently. And because yeah, because my engine runs so infrequently. I've come close a couple of times, but my engine does not run nearly as much as, as a gasoline hybrid. A gasoline hybrid car requires that the engine be running when you're driving it. An electric hybrid car does not require that the gas engine runs when you're driving it. The only thing the only thing required by an electric hybrid is electricity. Okay, my preference is to drive an electric hybrid, not a gasoline hybrid, to keep the cost per mile to a minimum. Both types of vehicles, depending upon the manufacturer, will have the hybrid badge on them. Unfortunately, some salespeople do not know the difference in the hybrid types. Many of them basically just know the one word, and the word that they know is hybrid, but they have no idea what's going on under the hood or how the, how the car works. And, re and fueling, refueling in an electric hybrid is much, much, much more convenient than refueling, than refueling with a gasoline hybrid. Because my car only needs electricity to be driven. Here's a, here's a photograph of of a of my car plugged in while it's charging while I walk a few feet to a pub that I like to go to once in a while. If, it's, if the weather's nice, I can nice I can just plug my car in and I'll have more electricity in my car than when I when I arrived. Because I'm in, I'm in the pub, um, maybe, maybe eating pizza and having having a beer or soda or whatever whatever I want to do, socializing. Meanwhile, my car is refueling. Now, one thing that that I want to point out is that whenever I leave my car in the state, whenever I leave my car plugged in, I always set the alarm so that if someone should tamper with the with the with the the electrical connection going to the car then my alarm will, will go off and notify me. And 
Both types of vehicles will have the hybrid badge on them, both the electric hybrid and the gasoline hybrid. Unfortunately, some salespeople don't know the difference in the hybrid types. Many of them basically just know the word hybrid, and that's it. But they have no idea what's going on under the hood or how the car, how the vehicle actually works. As a matter of fact, I went to a Toyota dealership here in Charlotte just to give, just to give one salesperson a test. And I can't remember the name of the vehicle. I think the name of the vehicle was a, was a Clarion or something like that. And I, there was a young man there at the dealership, and I said, yes, I would like to speak to someone who's now, I would like to speak to the most knowledgeable person in your dealership uh, that, de that knows about your electric hybrid vehicles. He says, how can I help you? I said, no, no I take that back. His response was, well, we've all been through the same training. So we all know we all have the same knowledge. And right away when he said that, I knew immediately what I was dealing with. I knew that he was not the person that's going to know what I, that's that's going to know about the electric vehicle. But anyway, I asked him. I, I asked him one one question that I already knew the answer to. I said, "What's the what's the maximum EV range on the Clarion?" I think the name of the car was Clarion. But I said, "What's the maximum EV range on that particular car, that particular vehicle?" He looked me square in the eye with confidence and said 470 miles. I said, no. I said, what? I said, that's, I said, that's not correct. I said, what I want to know is how far can you drive the car on straight electricity before the gas engine starts to kick in? He repeated 470 miles. I said, it's close to 10% of that. And he found that difficult to believe. But at any rate, we validated it with, with someone that well, we looked through some documentation and validated it with another another person that worked at the dealership. And that's my story on that. And like I said, unfortunately, a lot of salespeople, a lot of the younger salespeople aren't going to know the difference uh, in the hybrid types. All they know is just the word, hey, it's a hybrid, so it's going to save you gas. That's just, that's all they know. That's the extent of their knowledge. Um, and, and speaking of that, I, I would like to point out that, let's see, let me close this for a second. Oops. Okay, I'd like to point out, you see on my particular vehicle, my lifetime mileage, my lifetime average MPG is 121 miles per gallon. That's average. Now, I don't, most of the time, I am not using gas when I drive my car. And you see, just above the lifetime number, you see 250 plus MPG. That's an indication I used zero or close to zero gasoline for that driving session of 8.4 total miles. And that's an, that's an example of an, of, a, of an electric hybrid. A gasoline hybrid, however, might give you approximately anywhere between 50 to 60 miles per gallon at best. And different manufacturers get will get that 50 or 60 miles per gallon different ways some gasoline hybrids are programmed to just cut the engine off if you if you are to stop with your foot on the brake for a certain amount of time some of the cars are programmed to do that automatically but anyway that's the that's now I think I've given a lot more information than a lot than some salespeople that are trying to, some of the younger new car salespeople are trying to sell cars. I think I've passed out more information than a lot of them know. Uh, a lot of them don't know the difference between a gas hybrid, a gasoline hybrid, or an electric hybrid. Uh, and it's a way of saving money. Like I said, the gasoline hybrid might give you up to 50 to 60 miles per gallon, but you still you have to use gas in order to drive it, period. The electric hybrid, which is what I'm using, and you're looking at a screenshot of the center console of my vehicle. The electric hybrid can give you well over 100 miles per gallon average. And if I chose to not drive out of town, my lifetime miles would be way over 121. There's no doubt in my mind. Because the more I drive around town, the higher my average just goes when I drive out when I drive on on the highway out of state 
then I have to use more gasoline just as a matter of convenience. But thank you for watching.